Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we will be reviewing the Blue Mode software by someone called The Kid Got Keys. And this software he claims to be a non repaintable software. We're going to check that out, and he is selling the system for a thousand rand, as you can see on the top of here. Here are just some examples of the trades he has taken using this system. So as you can see over here, he says that you need to wait for a signal, which will either be a buy or a sell signal, and then that signal will correspond with the trend signal over here, and that will indicate for you to buy or sell. Now I saw, based on looking at all of his posts, that he normally trades NASDAQ and US 30 and he uses a time frame of 15 minutes. Let's just see how this looks on our own charts. So I have this set up now on Euro USD on the 15 minute time frame. I know earlier that I said that he uses it on NASDAQ mainly but this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm just gonna let it run so that you can see how the entry criteria plays out. So now you can see that a buy signal came out. The trend is now in a buying state and we have breached the upper level of this indicator over here meaning that we would enter with a buy trade so that's just how he says that you need to use the system in order to be profitable and as he said the system is a non repaint system and that is a big plus for the system however being non repaintable doesn't mean that you aren't wrong so we would still need to Kind of backtest on this and see how it averages out over a period of a few months. But before we get into that, so like you could see over here, the buy trade came out, and since the system is non repaintable, it's not going to go away. But that also means that when the subsequent sell signal comes out over here, you'll still be in a buy trade over here. So what the system does lack is a way of telling you when you need to exit the market. So multiple buys and multiple sells can come out at once and it's just your discretion as to which one you are going to take. So like in this instance over here you can see that there's a buy trade here and a sell trade over here. And right here you can see there's a buy trade, a sell trade, another buy trade, a buy trade, a sell trade and so on. So that is one of the flaws of this system is that it doesn't give you any indication of when you need to leave the market in order to take another trade and this I did run a backtest for the month of June and July using the system on NASDAQ on the 15 minute time frame using the lowest lot size of 0.01 and a leverage of 1 to 500 and we are going to look at those results now. So when backtesting the system, I used NAS100 with a take profit of 500 and a stop loss of 2500. So if you scroll to the bottom, you can see that the win rate was above 50%, which is quite good. Good as in if you're using a 2 to 1 ratio like this and you're consistent with it, that means that for every one trade that you lose, you will have another trade that covers your loss and gives you a bit extra. And since it's above 50%, that means that in the long run, this system could be profitable. Now I did only back this for two months, and that means that after the, these two months, the markets could change and the system could no longer be viable, but that's out of my control as well. But just taking into account what you could have gotten had you been using the system, you would have gotten a profit of 85,000 pips and a loss of 32,000 pips, giving you a total net profit of 52,000 pips. And from dollars to rands, that gives you 7,612 rand. Keeping in mind that that's on the lowest lot size and using a leverage of 1 to 500. With a system like this where you could get a string of losses since you did see earlier that buys and sell trades do come out on the same breakout lines so that means that you could end up in multiple trades 
So while I was backtesting, I set up certain criteria for myself. I said I would only take one of these trades, whichever one came out first. And then I would only take that trade when the criteria of crossing one of these two lines over here is met. So for example, if the salt trade comes out over here, I will only take the trade when the market reaches the bottom over here. On this buy trade over here, I'd only take the trade after the market reaches over here. And that's the mindset I was using while I was using this software. There's not much else I can say about this system. The entry criteria is pretty easy to follow. Just wait for your signal and for your breakout over here and take the trade from there. But as you saw in the back test, the win rate was above 50% when using a ratio of 2 to 1. I normally do like having a higher win rate in the 60 to 70% region, but this software did come close to that. And since it's relatively easy to use, because of these factors, the easy to use entry criteria and the fact that it could be profitable in the long run based on my backtest means that I would give this software a rating of 7.5 out of 10. What I do think that the software could use is a entry and exit criteria since it only gives you the entry criteria with an exit criteria being something like exit when the next signal comes out or something like that. Another thing that could benefit the system is a set take profit and stop loss. So if these breakout lines were a specific length apart, it means that the market could be volatile, meaning that a take profit of more than 5,000 could be used, for example. And we saw this being used on the Wealth Minister UPS system, where the larger the breakout, the larger the take profit levels were. So if that could be implemented on a system such as this, the rating would be much higher. But for now, it is a 7.5 out of 10. Right now, we are on the Forex Reviews SA YouTube channel. And if you would like more content such as this, please subscribe. I would like to thank everyone else that has subscribed already for 1,000 subscribers. I know we did reach this milestone a while ago, but I just forgot to mention it. I did post about it on the Instagram. So if you're looking for the Blue Mode software, all you need to do is go into the Binary Forex Moser video. And then in that description, you will find the Google Drive link. This link has the indicators I used and the template that I used. If you are unsure about how to install indicators and templates, I have released a video last week detailing how to install the different files. So please watch that video if you are unsure about what you need to be doing next. Thank you for watching this week's video. Goodbye.